Divisibility Rules for 11. Hello students, welcome back to my classroom. In today's lesson, we will identify and use divisibility rules for 11. Let's get started. To determine if a number is divisible by 11, check if the difference between the sum of the digits in odd position and the sum of the digits in even position is either 0 or multiple of 11. Let's use the number 264 as an example. First step is to get the sum of the add position digits, starting from left. To help us, let's label the positions above each digit. Remember, odd positions are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so on. For 264, the odd position digits are 4 and 2. Adding them gives us 6. Next step is to get the sum of the even position digits. Remember, even positions are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. Here we can see that 6 is the only even position digit. There you go. Final step is to subtract the sums. That's 6 minus 6, which equals 0. Now, according to the rule, if the difference is 0, the number is divisible by 11. Therefore, 264 is divisible by 11. Let's move on to the next example. 3509. Again, the first step is to get the sum of the odd position digits. Let's label the digits first, starting from the left. For 3509, the odd position digits are 9 and 5. And if we add them, the answer is 14. Next step, let's get the sum of the even position digits. Here, the even position digits are 3 and 0. And if we add them, the answer is 3. Final step is to get the difference of the sums. So that will be 14 minus 3, which equals 11. Now, according to the rule, if the difference is 11 or a multiple of 11, we can say that it is divisible by 11. Therefore, 3509 is divisible by 11. Now, let's try more examples. First example is 1870. Let's label the position of the digits first. There you go. Now, let's add the add position digits, which are 0 and 8, and that will be 8. Next, let's add the even position digits. We have 1 plus 7, which is 8. And final step, let's subtract the sums. So, that will be 8 minus 8, which equals 0. Therefore, we can say that 1870 is divisible by 11. Second example, we have 2,326. Again, let's label the digits first. Here, the odd position digits are 3 and 6. If we add them, the answer is 9. Next, let's get the sum of the even position digits, which are 2 plus 2, which equals 4. Finally, let's subtract the sums. That's 9 minus 4, which is 5. Since 5 is neither a 0 nor multiple of 11, we can say that 2,326 is not divisible by 11. Now, let's go to our last example, which is 92,939. Let's label the digits first. There you go. Now, let's get the sum of the odd position digits, which are 9 plus 9 plus 9, which equals 27. Next, let's add the even position digits, which are 2 and 3, which equals 5. Finally, let's subtract the sums. That will be 27 minus 5, which equals 22. Since 22 is a multiple of 11, we can say that 92,939 is divisible by 11. Great job everyone! That concludes our lesson. 
Now here are the things that you learned today.